All right, welcome back. Now, our next part is to look at our inventory because we now are able to interact with the world, but it doesn't do anything, right? We just destroy it and that's kind of it. So what we want to do is we want to head over to a new node here. And what I'm going to do is this is kind of my general setup. So feel free to follow this format if you'd like. But essentially what I do here is I usually set up our GUI in a canvas layer. This is pretty common just because a canvas layer will always be on top. So let me show you what this means. So in my world, when I save my GUI, we have our GUI here, right? And the GUI follows this uh, blue line right here. This is our screen. So when I hit play, that is our screen. So what do I mean? Well, let's look at an example. If I added a label, and let's say I wanted this to be some text in the middle, and I put it in the middle like so, you can see when I hit play again, it will always show up in the middle of my screen and follow me no matter where I go. So it follows the camera essentially, but it doesn't really follow the camera per se, it actually follows the screen. So it's a canvas layer that goes on top of our canvas. So that's kind of how I like to think about it. All right, so this is something that we'll use for GUI. However, this is what I will do for our inventory. I'm going to create a control for our inventory base. So I'm going to call this inventory, and this will essentially hold or help us manage our inventory. Now, what I'm going to do is save branch as scene. Go to my scenes, save this in a new folder. We can make a folder for GUI, maybe another folder for inventory. Because sometimes in games like these, we have more uh, GUI than just the inventory. You might have a profile, you might have stats, something like that, right? So I'm going to make a file just for the inventory. And then I'm going to move my GUI into my, well, GUI folder. All right, next up in my GUI uh, or my inventory screen, I'm going to start setting up the things that we'll need for the inventory. So I'm just going to help set up the thing up and hopefully we'll explain how we'll do this. Uh, but essentially what we're going to need here is we're going to mean need a main.gd inventory script. And this is different than the inventory script because this is going to help us basically initialize the items and the things inside of our script or inside of our inventory, I should say. All right, next up in my scripts folder, what we'll do actually is I'm going to make a scripts folder a GUI folder here. And in that GUI folder, I'll create another inventory folder. Inside of that inventory folder, I'm going to move the main.gd that I just made, and I'm going to make some new script. I'm going to duplicate the main.gd because it doesn't have anything in it. And at the moment, we're going to need an inventory item. I'm going to duplicate this, and we're going to have an inventory slot. And lastly, we're going to have inventory data. Now, let's take a look at what these are and how we're going to set things up. Now, essentially, our inventory is going to have two things. We're going to first have a grid container. Grid container, we can add this. And this essentially will contain a bunch of grids. Now, for our columns, we can fit nine. And, uh, oh no, sorry, for our grid, we'll, we'll do six. It doesn't really matter. We'll take a look at how. Uh, this works later, but essentially what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a six by four inventory. So it'll have 24 slots total. And essentially this is going to be our grid and I'm just going to call it grid. And then the last thing we'll need, or we don't need it per se, but I'm going to add this is a panel. And this is going to be our background. This is essentially to actually show the, you know, background of the inventory. So here, let's say our, this is our inventory. I want to show the back side of my panel. And the cool thing about the panel is if I actually hit play, it's slightly see through by default. So this is kind of a nice thing we can add, right? All right. So that's kind of it for the setup of our scene because we're going to manually create our inventory slots through code. And we'll take a look at how we can do that in the next part. But let's also explain what we're going to be doing in these scripts. So essentially, in each of these scripts, we're going to have, well, different things. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is oops, the data, right? So the data is essentially the information or the data that goes into an item. And that kind of leads us into our second part, the actual item. Well, the item is the physical item. It's not really a physical item. Obviously, everything's in the computer, but it's a physical item. Think of it as the real item with the data that 
it takes from, and it has other things that we can do with it. So we can move it around, we can maybe use it, we can right click it, we can do whatever things with it, right? But the slot, again, builds on the previous one, which is the slot. That is where the item goes, right? This is where we will contain all the items, right? Well, preferably, that is where we'll contain all the items in our slots. And of course, the grid that we just made will go uh, or contain all the slots, right? So 24 slots. So that's kind of it uh, in terms of explaining that. In the next part, we'll actually take a look at implementing these one at a time. We'll go to the data first. We'll take a look at how we can, uh, you know, make some things that can do something with it. I, that made absolutely no sense. Uh, we're going to use something called resources to basically make and manage the data. So we'll take a look at that in the next part.